next question I wanted to ask was, you know, what, what do people come in wanting to achieve or wanting to address? Like, what are they, what are they looking for? Sure. Um, yeah, there's, let's say the, the most common theme is people want more touch in their lives, more nourishing, safe, really consensual, excuse me, um, conscious touch. That's probably most to the people I see, and that's probably most of the United States, or like most of the United States probably could like benefit from, from, you know, from more touch. Um, uh, and then, yeah, a lot of people want more of that touch and deeper connection in their personal lives as well. Like, okay, how do I create more platonic, how do I create platonic touch or platonic cuddling um, depth of relationships and, and personal friendships or more touch me with family members, et cetera, or group events, things like that. Um, so um, there's a theme of wanting to make touch feel safe, and comfortable and easy either so a little bit either because of um, unfortunate negative past trauma or experience emotional sexual physical um, or because it's really new to them um, so you know, I'll borrow one of your try to borrow and modify one of your times maybe they're um, a late life like cuddle virgin or something like that like <laughs> it, yeah basically you know like, like they're late in their life and they haven't experienced um cuddling with someone so far which is totally fine and unfortunately yeah or, yeah society has different messages or shame or feelings around that so like mm -hmm. yeah hoping it'd be really okay that it's new and that's it's a new adventure i love working with people who want more intimacy. Um, it can be emotional intimacy. It can be physical intimacy, um, like platonic physical intimacy. And what I mean by that is like the tenderness around touch, um, the slowness, the like eye gazing, the like light and like just really, really being with someone. So even, so, including people who maybe are married or ha and or have sometimes a lot of sex in their lives um, and they don't have, they want more intimacy. They, mm -hmm. they want to, and they want to get more comfortable with intimacy. And how do they ask for that with their partner? How do they create that? How do they um, get past their own fears of like being, I even like feel as if, as I'm thinking about it, like really close, like really in that that human essence and vulnerability with someone else, and like taking the walls away, taking the distractions away. Um, I'm sure there's more, and though well yeah th those are a lot of the themes and then other themes are working on communication skills so improving be able to ask for what we want set boundaries or true yes and true no um how to be good about consent with others like okay i want more touch but how do i ask for that and go for that in ways that feel comfortable with other people especially because like our culture isn't most people our society aren't um like used to or uh they can't like they don't speak the language that well of like how to agree on consensual like platonic cuddling or things like that um, or other stuff even hugs sometimes mm -hmm. um Other themes are helping people become more emotionally aware. So again, something of what you talked about, um, helping 
people who maybe spend and like again i think a lot of the united states spend like so much of their time and like consciousness like um uh in an intellectual state more in their mind so Mm -hmm. starting to learn like oh this is like what fear feels like or sadness and and being able to to experience that and that be okay um tears are a really beautiful and common experience in my session so Yeah. yeah having that experience with me as well as becoming more comfortable and able to share that really needed needed and beautiful type of deep emotional connection and being seen and heard with people yeah. in, their, in their personal lives. So I'm sure after the video, I'll be like, oh shoot, I should have mentioned this and that, but, <laughs> but yeah, those are, those are a lot of themes. Yeah. You could say that for our next talk then, whatever comes up. <laughs> I like that you mentioned tears because we frequently get that in our work as well. And <clears throat> I love when people cry I, because it's, it's so healing. And so many of us don't have the opportunities or don't have a safe space or anyone to hold that space for us. And there is a difference between crying on our own and mm someone bearing witness to that and holding that space. And it really is, a, it's a beautiful experience for somebody to be able to feel that vulnerable and that safe to allow themselves to let their emotion come through. And the only way out is through, right? Mm. You have to feel it to heal it. <laughs> I love that. 